Online shopping is often the preference these days for not just groceries, but apparently pets as well. And that has led to an increase in scams. Tonight, steps that you can take to avoid becoming the next victim. News Nation reporter Heather Walker spoke to a Michigan woman who had not just her money stolen, but also her heart broken. I've been brought up with poodles, and I haven't had one in two years. And the little red poodle was one of my favorites, so I just wanted that kind of dog. And they're hard to find. So then I went to the Internet. That's where Carol Ford found Sassy. My whole family was so excited for me, my friends. Carol's mom recently passed away. Her kids are grown, and this was going to be her new companion. Go everywhere with me. Vacations, store. Carol put down a $500 deposit for the more than $1,300 dog, said to be deeply discounted. But the day before Sassy was supposed to arrive, the seller began asking for more money, claiming the dog needed insurance for the flight from Georgia. And I thought, wait a minute here. She became suspicious and asked to talk to the seller on the phone. That's where the scam started to reveal itself. The more questions she asked, the more the man became angry. I said, Who, what airlines? I'll go to the airport. I'll pay them to have the dog shipped. We'll do it that way. No. Nope. Carol says looking back, there were signs that it was fake from the beginning. Do you think that you started to look past some of these red flags because you just wanted the dog so bad? I'm sure I did. I'm sure I did. A quick way to learn if you're potentially being scammed is a reverse image search. So here's a photo of Sassy. If we right click and then choose search Google for image, it comes up showing 242 results. And if you scroll down, you can see all of these websites from North Carolina and throughout the country claiming they're selling that same puppy. Other tips to avoid the scam? If you can't visit the dog in person, use a video call to see the pet, but make sure it's live and not pre recorded. Red flags include a discounted price or sellers who refuse to talk on the phone. A foreign accent could also be a giveaway because the BBB says most of these scammers are overseas. As for Carol, she asked for her money back, but no luck. The cash is gone, and Sassy was a sham. I don't know if it was worse losing the money or the, the puppy. Heather Walker, News Nation.